Hey, Simon here, and this is a little performance uh, documentation for my game because I brought my game here. We see that in this extreme scenario where we have a lot of hearts, we see that the FPS go down to 30, sometimes even below. And at the end, we will see that the FPS are uh, staying around 50, so uh, roughly 20 FPS saved. Um, one thing I notice is that I have a lot of collision pairs here. Uh, like 2600 or 3000 and I solve this by this is my little heart which you can collect and the player looks for this heart so um, the collision layer is defined as resource so that's that's fine but I don't need the mask I don't need to define here that uh, this basically looks for the player and just by removing this we will see that now we have like 300 collision pairs or 400 sometimes. So this, uh, I, I I must say the for the performance, it doesn't do too much. Like here we, we still drop down to 40, sometimes to 30 um, or 35. So yeah, but I, I guess it's better to have less collision pairs just uh, to be sure. Um, and the other system is, uh, which, and, and this is the, the big performance gain, is that now what I do is when there are too many little hearts uh, close to each other, like 10 little hearts uh, close to each other, then I uh, remove them and spawn one bigger heart. And when 10 uh, bigger hearts are close to each other, then I spawn an even bigger heart. So, and this just removes so many objects uh, that my performance is way, way better. You can see it here, it stays uh, about 50. So these are uh, the two things I did to gain performance, but I just want to underline something which I discovered uh, last week. Um, I had, uh, yeah, here, uh, I have my little heart right here, and this is just one sprite. What I do now is I add another sprite um, because I wanted to have a little glow. So what I do here is I add a very, very simple texture and I added a custom shader, a very, very simple shader. It just uh, enables additive uh, blending yeah that's all and I just wanted to have a little glow around the heart and when we look at this the, the performance gets very very bad now here we already are at 30 and it gets worse sometimes I think we yeah we, we even go close to um, 20 at some point and it you can see me uh, testing here if it's the shader uh, I just removed the the, the material um, the here, here it was my glow material. I just removed it to the default. So now it's just like this. And we will see that the performance is still very, very bad. Yeah. So it, it's not the blending. Um, it seems to be the amount of sprites. Uh, just one note, I'm using the compatibility renderer here. So it might be that this is better when you use forward plus. Um, but just a note, when you have so many objects, uh, it really uh, matters how many sprites you have, it seems. So uh, these are the, the three tips, just to summarize. So um, remo reducing collision pairs by setting up the, 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 the layers correctly. Um, then uh, clustering basically the little hearts together so that we are reducing the object amount and also reducing the sprite amount if you have like me so many little things laying around uh, and uh, in summary it saves me like 20 fps so i think that's very nice